This video mainly focuses on the multi-view drawings of oblique surface, but I will show you also how we could just uh, draw the multi-view drawings of inclined surface and a normal surface. So the isometric drawings of one object is given here. So I will show you step by step how we could construct the multi-view drawings of all the surfaces and then even how we could just construct them by using the given dimensioning system here. Let's construct this with the third angle projection system but finally I will show you the layout of the drawing with the first angle projection system. If you want to know more about the first and third angle projection system you might refer the video related to first angle and third angle projection system. It is available in the video description. Now the front sides of the given part this will be this one. We can prefer this one as a front view because it's just the longest dimension. The third angle projection system the front view can be here and then the top view will be on the top of the front view and then the right side view will be on the right of the front view. So all the places of the views will be here. The space provided for the views can be just laid out in this way. That means for a front view we'll have a total length of 120 in the width direction and then we'll have a space between the front view and the side view with a 20 millimeter. The same thing with the front and with the top view will have a 20 millimeter spacing for that and then if you just prefer that finally you will have this layout so the front view has the horizontal length of 120 and then the vertical length is just 60 plus 50 it will be 110 and then for the top view the horizontal length is the same at the front view it is 120 and then the vertical length is equal to the depth of object that means the depth is 80 millimeter the side view will have the height of the front view that means 110 and then horizontal length will be the depth that means 80 millimeters. So finally we'll have this layout for the three principal views. Once we construct that we can construct a meter line from here with a 45 degree. It will be very helpful to transfer the dimension from the top view to the side or from the side to the top for the portions of a depth dimension. Especially it will be very helpful if there is an inclined oblique surface or a circular surface appears then and then if you know just the dimension on either of the view and then try to construct on the other one. Now let's start just constructing the surface. So the surface had the layout of this one. So to construct it on the front view from here to here is given as a 20 millimeter. So we can draw one construction line at that distance of 20 millimeter vertically. Once you do that, just from the distance of from here to is 70 millimeter, we can construct one horizontal line. And then you can get this two pointed, that means those two pointed means the two edges. And then once you do this, there is also a 60 millimeter one horizontal line from here to 60 millimeters. So you can construct one horizontal line in this way. And then from here to here, there is a 50 millimeter. So vertically, you can construct that line. And then finally, from here to here, there is a 30 millimeter. Once you construct that, you'll get all the three pointers. So once you get all those pointers, you can connect them and then you will have this shape. That means the surface is constructed over this. And then once you do this, painted with a blue color can be constructed just like a rectangle. As it is known that the projections or the multi-view drawings of an inclined surface will be a distort to views and then it will be a line layout. So you can refer the video related to the projections of inclined surface to know more about this. Once you do that, the next surface will be just projecting this surface. So to project the surface, we know the reference from here to here is 80 millimeters. So you can construct one vertical line at a distance of 80 millimeters. Once you get that, you will get this point. And then the other one from here to here, it is also 80 millimeters vertically. So you can measure this one and then you can construct one horizontal line. Once you get that, you can just connect all those pointers. Once you connect that, you will get this surface. If you just look this surface painted with a yellow color, it is just an inclined surface. So it will have an edge or a line on a front view and then it will have a distorted rectangle on the side view and on the top view. The remaining surface is now this oblique surface. So this oblique surface will have covered this portion and then you can just connect this line because the remaining parts will be that one. I will show you even the technique how we could easily understand the projections of oblique surface. You can also refer the video related to this one. So let's construct on the top view. If you look over this, we can just project this L shape. That means the inverted L shape. We can construct this one before the other one because it's very simple. So to do that, if you just look here, from here to it's a 60 millimeter. So from here to here, we can measure 60 millimeter and construct one horizontal line. And then from here to here, it is just a 20 millimeter. So from here to here, you can measure 20 millimeter and then you can construct that one. 
once you get that we can just connect all those lines or edge pointers then finally we'll have this shape the same thing for the inclined surface painted with the blue color the remaining parts can be constructed as a rectangle and then this layout will be this one so this is just the top view and for the inclined surface painted with a yellow color the same procedure can be happen and then it is just a rectangular layout on the top view so you can just connect on the end portions of this part so finally you will have this layout so the three surfaces are projected here and then now let's just project the surface let's just measure from here to here it's just given as a 40 millimeter so from here to here we'll measure a 40 millimeter and construct one horizontal line once you do that you'll get this point and then you can connect all those lines just like this one previously from here to here it was 15 millimeters so it will be just bent at this point the remaining surface is just the projections of this oblique surface so how we could just project this it is very simple so you can just connect this edge is just from here to here it's just overlap it over that one so you don't need to construct a line for the remaining one we'll have two lines so this line is already it will be just a horizontal line from here and then this line will be just a vertical line from here so you can connect them you will get finally this triangular shape for the side view we can just measure the dimension from here to here or we can also transfer the dimension using this miter line so by using this miter line i will show you how we could just simply put the dimensions related to the depth part let's construct this surface first so to construct this let's just find out those two pointers this one and this one to get these pointers if you just look from the top view those pointers are over this so you can just construct one vertical line you will get this surface and then from the front view it is positioned where here so from the front and from the top view if you just project them they will connect at this point the next point will be on that vertical line but from the front view it's on this level so once you just connect them you will get this point the next point is just located on the top view at this position and then you can just construct one vertical line reflecting over this matter line and then finally you will get this one and then from the front view it was on this portion so they can intersect at this point so this intersection point is just the next point once you get this point now the last point to construct this surface is on this one it will be here and then from the front view it is just at the height of 30 millimeter at the previous one you can get this point and then once you get that point you can just construct this surface into this way the next surface is just the inclined surface painted with this yellow color so it will be just on the top of the surface and then it can be projected at this specific location once you get that the remaining part will be just projecting this oblique surface so the oblique surface is here if you just look from this side you'll see just this uh, oblique surface painted with a green color and then the remaining part can be constructed that means this line will be converted into a vertical line and then this line will be converted into horizontal line finally you'll have this triangular layout and then the oblique surface will be this one now the last surface is just this one so to construct the surface from the top view if you look this point it is just located over here so you can construct one vertical line reflecting from this matter line and then we can get this point and then the front view it is tip is over this so they will connect at that point the next point is this one so this point from the top view is just on the last line so we don't need to construct it again and then from the front view it is at the height of 70 millimeters that means from here it was just previously constructed at that point and then they can connect at this point once you get that you'll get this surface so the right side is of the given object will be this one so in this video i show you how we just use a matter line to construct the depth dimension without measuring all those things let me show you the natures of the surfaces here now if the surfaces are oblique surfaces they will have a three plane views that means they will have a three surfaces on the three views the surface which is painted with a green color is an oblique surface so it has a three views here that means from the front from the top and from the side view it has a surface layout whereas if you just look on inclined surfaces inclined surfaces will have two surface layout on the two views but it will have one edge or one line view on one view if you look the surface painted with a blue color it is an inclined surface so it has two distorted views on two views that means on the top and on the front view but when you look from the side view it has one line or it has an edge view the same thing for the yellowish color 
it has two distorted views on the top and on the side view but it has a line or edge layout on the front view but when you come to the normal surfaces the normal surfaces will have one plane view or one surface view having the same dimension or the same layout as the surface but they will have two line view on the other two views all the surfaces rather than the inclined surface and oblique surfaces are a normal surface and then they have a surface layout on one view and then they will have an edge view on the other two views if you look at the first one the surface is just a normal surface so it has a layout of the view on the front view as a surface but it will have just an edge view on the top and then on the side view finally the views of the given object on the third angle projection will be this one but here i can show you one simple technique to construct an oblique surface easily it will help you to visualize the object in a simple way so you can just extend the three principal axes that means x y and z axes into this way once you extend them they'll connect at this point so if they connect at this point you can shade off the surfaces in this way so you can shade it and then finally you will try to construct the multiple drawings of this object so it will be very simple if you look just from the front view you will see only this surface and then from the top view you will see one full rectangle in this way and then if you look from the side view it will have this layout the remaining thing is just from the distance of this one you can connect this line on the front view this line on the top view and then this line for the side view finally the views will be this one if you look this object it has an oblique surface over this one that means painted with a gray color so the same procedure can be happened you can extend all the three axes into this way and then you can shade some of the portions and then finally you will have this layout and then you can understand the object easily you can construct its view on the front top and side view as i show you with the same procedure if you want to construct this object in the first angle projection system it will be very simple so the front view will be here and then the top view will be on the bottom of the front and then the right side view will be on the left of the front view but their views are the same except their position so thank you for your watching and then see you soon